Hello Cyclone Fanatics, welcome to another Mr. B Clothing, well, we're, we're talking football here today, we're getting ready to talk football, Tim, as, uh, we're, Tim sits me here at 1995 Northwest 86th Street in gorgeous Beautiful Clive, Clive Iowa. Iowa, you know, it's beautiful out it. there today, you know, we haven't, it seems like we haven't been together for a while, but you know, a week goes by and we just don't see each other and I get a little lonesome. Well, I do too. You know, that's what it is. Good news though, I mean, that's all sad stuff and we're going to put it behind us. I got it in my blood, man. Football season is just wow. around the corner, I had the preseason magazines. Uh, they're starting to come out. Well, they're out, and not a lot, a lot of rave reviews for the Cyclones. But what we're gonna do here, fanatics, today we're just gonna gotta do a little broad video for you, talk a little Big Twelve football. Starting next week, you know these went over very well last year, Tim. We start predicting the, the exclusive Tim Sitzman analysis on the Iowa State football schedule. That starts next week here at Cyclones. You, you might not believe this, but I've been working on this, and I've been trying. Really? I've been trying to massage it where I can get get it a little better, but you, you wait to see. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a big deal. Yeah, we'll start fun. off with the Northern Iowa Panthers coming up next week. We'll get Tim's take on that. Tim, I, I'm going to I'm going to throw this out there. I'm here. Surprise team in the Big 12 this year. I don't think they're going to get enough credit. I don't think they're getting enough credit. The Missouri Tigers, they lost their quarterback. So everybody automatically thinks, oh, you know, they're kind of turning into quarterback you there at the University of Missouri. If you go pound per pound, position by position, you stack them up, Against the rest of the country, I think Gary Pinkle has his best team ever yeah. at Missouri, yeah. other than the quarterback position. But usually, when you got all those talented well, guys around you, it makes the quarterback a heck of a lot yeah, better. I, I can't, I can't say I disagree. And you, you know, we always have the Texas and Oklahomas up there, and you know, Oklahoma State is not going to be a slouch. No, you know, it, it's going to be tough. Yeah, there's five or six pretty tough teams. Yeah, and, and, and you know, the the Kansas, the Kansas States, the Iowa States. Uh, and you get down in Texas, there's a lot of tough teams. I, I think that you speak of the state of Texas, Robert Griffin is a guy, Baylor's quarterback, you know, right. he's very elusive. Right. You know, he is a dark horse by some people, not in my opinion, but by some people as a Heisman candidate. And then you look at Landry Jones and Brandon Whedon. The, the cool thing is now with this conference schedule set up for Iowa State, you're going to see a lot of really good players yeah, coming to Jack we're, Trice Stadium, we're too. Going to, we're going to see them all, yep. and, and I think we're going to develop into a very, very nice conference. It's going to be maybe the surprise conference of the country. I think the competitiveness of the con of that conference is going to going to show a lot of talent, and, we're, and the cream's going to come to the top. And I, I can't wait to predict these these outcomes in the, in the next uh, session that we have with each other because uh, Iowa State's going to surprise some people, and we'll talk about that later. Uh, well, Tim's already predicted a couple weeks ago. I mean, yeah. Tim thinks bull game. He, yeah, oh, he you said that. You're I, on record. You know what? I was say, I was saving that for next week, but I, I'm on record with that, and I'll stick with it. I, right. I might even eke out another win in my Ooh. prediction. Okay, so that's just even more reason to stay tuned. Right. Here's a question for you. Oklahoma Sooners, a lot of these magazines are picking them to win the national championship. You know what? I, I think now... With this new Big 12 setup, you don't have that championship game. Right. Their schedule sets up all right. Now, they have a really tough non-conference game against Florida State. they got to go to Tallahassee in September. They get past that. Do you think that's a good enough team, Tim, in your opinion, to win a national title? You know, it's, you know it, gets, it gets down to four, five, six teams that really, if you really broke down, yeah. that, that are really national championship material. And then mm -hmm. the rest are going to be, you know, they might upset a, a national championship team in the middle yeah. of that, and then you don't know how it's going to come out. You certainly have to put them in the in that in that eight to tw ten, twelve teams that you'd consider have an opportunity to be there. But you got to look at Florida, and you, there's a, there's other teams out there yeah. that are going to be very very tough. I, I think it's a deal too anymore. It's just so hard, no matter what your schedule is, to run that. Got one you know, to go twelve games. It is really it's hard. It's brutal. But Texas is always there in our, in our conference, and you know, I, I give you the, the nod on this Missouri deal. I think they're gonna they're gonna give Oklahoma all they want as they get down to the wire. Who wins the Big Twelve? Well, and yeah. remember Thanksgiving weekend. It's on national television. Clones and clones in Oklahoma. Maybe we we'll get the upset. Maybe knock off number one. You know you think what? It can we, we've had we've had some very tough opponents and we've given them all we want. We had Nebraska last year as we all know and we still I still scratch my head on that one, but what a great call and we all we can relive that forever. But, but thank the, you for that bringing that back up by the way. That's a great that, call. I had actually kind of erased that well, memory. I, I won't ever erase it. It was a great call. We, it, we just didn't execute it. But we had Nebraska and, all right. and they're no longer anything we talk about in the Big Twelve. All right Tim well I'm giving you some homework. You all right. Start to bone up. We're gonna bone up on our Northern Iowa Panthers and we're gonna tackle the Northern Iowa Panthers next week when I come in here. All right, all right. and that that's gonna be a good I, I'll, I'll save it. Okay, I, I've got we'll save it. Save the analysis. Next week we start it game by game. Tim Sitzman's predictions 
on the 2011 season. I got a prediction for Mr. B's. Next week we're going to start our summer sale. That's Whoa. my prediction. And I get what's going to happen in this summer sale? Give us some details. We start. Well, I'm just predicting it's going to happen. The details will come next. Week. Okay, he's working out the details. We will make sure when we talk Northern Iowa, we'll we'll, we'll fill everybody in. Tim, uh, have a, have an outstanding weekend, my friend. You know, it's fun uh, doing this, and uh, the Big 12 is going to be exciting football this year. I can't wait. Exciting. I'm actually really excited to go down to Dallas and do the the media days. It's going to be nice not having all those snobs from Nebraska around. Uh, it's going to change the conference, but there'll be plenty of snobs. We'll <laughs> we'll, we'll have fun with them all. All right, have a good weekend everybody thanks uh, stop by here mr b's 1995 northwest 86th street and just gorgeous clive Island. beautiful clive take thank care. you take care everybody